were very concerned about the rising fuel prices in the country. Over the last few years, fuel prices have rocketed to new peaks, probing down endlessly in our wallets and have almost doubled in the recent times. Also, a new scam is uncovered every year that makes us wonder about the rising concern and fuel crisis. And today, we are investigating if the average fuel sold by two fuel stations varies in terms of delivering mileage or if there is any chemical difference between them both. We plan to take the Deadson Redigo 1 litre manual for the same, driving it in both the city as well as on the highway. We emptied its fuel tank until it gave up and couldn't start, then we pushed it to the nearest fuel station. As you can see, the car is now starting up because we've emptied the whole fuel tank. We slogged all the way to the fuel station number one, where we filled exactly 5 litres of fuel. Also, we collected 100 ml of sample from the same fuel. So, as you can see, that we have collected the fuel sample from uh, fuel station one, which will be given to uh, the test lab for further investigation. We drove all the way from Gurgaon city to Faridabad until the car was emptied again. We made sure to drive it through medium throttle ranges to depict everyday usage. As major Indian car drivers focus on getting the best mileage possible but have to deal with loads of traffic and heat weather condition. This driving style will cover all the losses. Hence accelerator goes to half its range with air conditioning on at all times. So we drove from Gurgaon to Faridabad in this uh, Redigo 1 litre and the car has done 71.3 kilometers up till now uh, with 5 litres of fuel and as you can see the car is not getting started. It's empty, the fuel is empty, uh, so we'll again go to another fuel station, we'll refill its tank with exact 5 litres of fuel and then we'll see how much the car can do. The car did 71.3 kilometers in the first run and that sums up to 14.26 km per litre of mileage. And then again we were pushing the car back to another station, where we did the same, filled it second time with 5 litres of normal fuel and collected the sample for the test lab. So uh, this is the second sample that we've got and uh, we filled up our car once again with 5 litres of fuel and we'll again head back to Gurgaon now to see how much distance the car can cover up. We drove all the way back to Gurgaon but couldn't finish the same distance as the car stopped a few kilometers before than it was supposed to. So the morning has turned into night and I've driven almost 150 kilometers today and I'm coming back from the second trip and as you can see that I'm standing on the side of the road and let me show you that, that the car isn't starting up. Yes, that means the tank is almost empty and I have uh, 67.5 kilometers on the odometer and that is equals to like 4 kilometers less than my previous trip and from this point I'll be giving both of these samples to the lab and then we'll wait for the further results. The car did 67.5 kilometers in the second run and that sums up to 13.5 km per litre of mileage. Well, it was obvious that mileage difference wasn't much in both the scenarios. But how different were they chemically? We waited for the test results from the laboratory and as expected, the samples given revealed not much of any difference. Both the samples lacked any moisture or kerosene content. The calorific value which is the energy produced by complete combustion of fuel. Well, this value for both the samples was similar too. The fuel samples collected from the test lab revealed that both of the fuels were very similar in terms of their chemical structure and hence delivered similar mileages as well. However, the small mileage differences cannot be ignored and it might be a direct result of the small chemical differences that they had which were so minute that they were nearly undetectable by the test lab. 